Hello viewers, welcome to linuxl.com Let's see how to say about how to install Espos CRM application on Ubuntu 16.04 First of all, Espos CRM is an open source web interface application that allows you to easily manage your company relationship including people, projects and opportunities Before you have to install the application you should update your system repository the updation is going on after updating system repository we have to install apache with the required packages then hit enter the installation was completed now now we have to check it out the status of apache service using this following command here it will show on the status is running then we have to install a MariaDB then hit enter the installation is going on here we have to press Y to proceed the process the installation was completed now now we have to check it out the MySQL service Here it will show on the status is running now. Then you have to configure the MySQL secure installation. Here we have to just type hit enter. Here you have to if you want to set a new root password for a database, press Y to proceed the process. Here you have to choose your new root password to accessing a database. Again you have to give your password. Here you have to remove the anonymous user login I have press Y and so on press Y to proceed the process the configuration was completed now now we have to login into the database here we have to type the password for while we are giving in a root password to accessing a database the database is open now here we have to proceed the any database configuration i have to create my database for a espo crm then hit enter then we have to create the database user to give a privileges to accessing a database Here we have to mention a name of database. Following by here we have to mention a password. Then we hit enter. After creating a user, we have to flush the privileges. Then hit enter. Then you have to exit from this console of database. after creating a database we have to install a php with the requirement packages using this following command and then hit enter the installation is going on the php installation was completed now now we have to enable a imap module for php using this following command then hit enter then we have to utilizing a module of rewrite then hit enter now we have to restart the apache now we are going to download a package for espo crm using this following command then hit enter the downloading is going on the downloading process was completed now here it will show on a downloaded package for a espo crm then you have to unzip the package using this following command then hit enter 
now we have to list out the what are the files available on a current directory here it will show on a unzip package now we have to move the files from a sports crm directory into the slash where slash www directory inside here i have to mention a destination then hit enter after moving the file we have to change the ownership for a sports crm file indicatively here we have to mention a path of sports crm file then hit enter then hit enter here it will show on a ownership of this file then we have to to make uh, some changes in the php configuration file here we have to make uh, some changes here we have to change the value for 30 into 180 then we have to change the value of maximum input time here we have to also make a changes for 16 to 180 then we have to change the value of memory limit here we have to change the value into 256 mb then we have to set a maximum size of posting Here we have to set a value for 20 MB. Then you have to set the value for uploading maximum file size. Here we have to change the value into 20 MB. After changing the value, we have to save and exit from this file. Then you have to set a value for rewrite base in a sports serum accessing file. And now we have to open a file using this following command. The file is open now. Here we have to uncomment this line first. Then we have to set a value for a slash api slash v1. After changing the value, we have to save and exit from this file. Then you have to restart the Apache service. The service is restarted now. Then you have to create a virtualized configuration for accessing a SPOS ERM application. Here we have to choose a file name for virtualized configuration. The file is open now. Here we have to create a virtualized configuration. Here I have to choose my server name. Linux cellphone.com. Then you have to choose a document directory. Here you have to mention a This is my virtualized configuration to accessing a SPOS CRM application. After configuring virtualized, we have to save and exit from this file. Then we have to restart the Apache service once again. The service is restarted now. Now we have to Enable a site for a SPO configuration file using this following command. After enabling the site, we have to restart the Apache. Then 
the service is uh, started now now we have to disable the site of default configuration site and hit enter then we have to restart the Apache 2 service once again now we have to open a browser the browser is open now here we have to type our local IP address or a local domain then hit enter the site is open now here it will be so on what is the version you have to install a Espos ARM application on your system here you have to choose your language then you have to click start here we have to accept the terms and condition to using the Espo CRM application. Here we have to choose our database name. Here we have to give a database username. Here we have to put a password for a database user. Then we have to click test connection. The connection is Establish now. Now we have to click next. Here it will show on uh, what are the PHP module you have to install uh, using to run a uh, Espos CRM application. After checking your configuration, you have to click install. Here we have to choose your admin password to accessing a uh, Espos CRM application. Again, you have to give your password, then click next. Here we have to choose our configuration. Here I have to choose my that configuration. Here you have to choose your time zone. Here I have to choose my. Here we have to choose the default currency. I have to choose my currency. It will show on a thousand separator. Here you have to choose your language and so on then we have to click next here you have to choose your frame name for your here you have to choose your address here we have to choose your server name i have to give my server name here you have to choose your security method ssl or tls you have to choose your security method it will automatically update your port number then you have to click next here it will show on a successful installation of espos erm application here it will show on a configuration of contact to running a process of espos erm application then you have to click go to espos erm here you have to login using a username and password admin here you have to give your password to accessing a espos erm application the site is open now here it will show on a major components to configure and managing by using in the espos crm application if you want to know the version of the espos crm application please click here here you have to click about here it will show on what is the version you have to install the espos crm application on your system these are all the installation process about how to install espos crm application on ubuntu 16.04 Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe our channel Linux help to more further videos visit www.linuxhelp.com for any queries mail to support at linuxhelp.com